Speaking of that, like, how long you been knowing Big Rich? Shit, I've been knowing Rich. I mean, musically or just in general, like in general, like when did y'all first meet? I've been knowing Rich since since I was like in high school, maybe Got you. maybe middle school, honestly, because I used yeah. to do with like Bailey and them. When I was young, you feel me, going mm-hmm. back and forth to the Boys and Girls Club and shit. Before Roosevelt, everything. Before right. middle school. But then I kind of, like, met Rich, like, probably, like, 2000, like, five. Like, during the hyphy movement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right before, I think, like, his album. His like, album started yeah, dropping. before that came out, I kind of met him. Like, I knew of him and stuff yeah. like that. But, you know. Like, formally met? Yeah, like, you know, they lived down the way in the Bannikers. We right. lived up, to, up the way. I stayed right. on, on fail. Up, I right. had to be and everything, too. But then when I moved. Down the way, it was like, okay, I start seeing him more because I start being over there more. Got you. Hooping at Hayes Valley and Ella Hill and shit. So I'm like, oh, that's Big Rich. I see, bro. Definitely. You feel me? So, yeah, I think probably like 2000, 2005. How did y'all um, start working together on a business level? Um, How did that come about? Because I remember he was working with Even Odds, yeah. D on them. And then it. Did y'all start fucking with even? I know y'all was recording with even eyes and Dio, right? Nah, or no, or no? Nah. Okay, let me know. Get me yeah. in, put me on. So basically, let um, me know. When we was doing our shit, man, it was like when Bailey. Okay, real quick timeline. When Bailey dropped, um, Champ Bailey, the Champ album, Bailey. We was, you know, I used to be up in there right. all the time, going right. to go fuck with them, him, Jay Valentine yeah. and stuff. And this is like when I City Boys first. I started remember. rapping, you feel me? So Got I had you. just started rapping. Got you. And, you know, I, was, I ain't going to lie, but we had a mixtape. I was maybe on two songs on that tape. That's how fresh I was rapping. I had like a verse and like an eight or uh-huh. something, you feel me? So we went up to his um, his release at the warehouse, you feel me, on Van Ness. He signed autographs, everything. I came oh, up there. Oh, wow, I remember that. Like, man, what's up, bro? Woo, woo, woo. I bought the album, got his autograph. He like, nigga, you really want an autograph? Yes, nigga. Like, I, I need that. all of that. You I feel remember me? that, yeah. And we was trying to get signed to City Boys. So we was trying to holler at him and Jay Valentine right. and everything. And they was like, nah, you niggas ain't ready. Right. And we like, man, come on, bro. Like somebody got to take our, you know, take yeah. a chance and give us an opportunity. Straight and up. they just kind of was like, mm, nah, like maybe a year or so later, you feel me? This nigga rich. We see him out. We at a, at a party. I think, um, damn, I don't remember the club name, but it's over by Patrol. Mighty. Maybe Club, it's off of Utah Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's called Club Mighty. Okay, yeah. yeah so yeah. it might have been there. Mm-hmm. Um, we there, feel me. We open for Rich. Okay, you feel me? We outside passing out flyers. As soon as we get off stage, he get off stage. We go outside. We standing in front passing out flyers immediately. Right. You feel me? He like, man, I love what y'all doing. He's like, I love y'all hustle. What's up? You right. feel me? What y'all doing? Right. We like shit. We trying to see what's up. Yeah. That nigga like, man, you know, come come to the Bannikers. Whoop whoop whoop. Let's holler. Yeah. So we go go meet with him and everything. And he just like, man, I love what y'all doing. You and this me? is Legends Live Forever. This, this is not even Troy. Yeah, yeah, this is Got Legends you. Live Forever. You Got feel you. Me? So he kind of was like, man, I want to fuck with y'all. I love what y'all doing. I just just come be a part of the team. You feel me? Come join. You know, he had three-story gang and everything like right. that. So It was moving me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, <laughs> that's when he had even eyes. Right. And shot, everybody shot else was there. there yeah. And he was just like, man, I just want y'all to come be a part of the team and shit like that. Whatever resources I got. My, what's mine is yours. Got you. You feel me? And that's kind of what got us started and stuff like that. So by him going to DEO and even odds and stuff, now we had access to DEO. Got you. To MA and stuff mm-hmm. for production and everything like that. So he right. just kind of just opened the door for us. It wasn't no paperwork. Yeah. Wasn't nothing like that. It was just like, man, we gang. Come on. Got let's you. do it. You feel got me? You. So from there, that was like that. And then we kind of separated a little bit around like 2011. Okay. But this is when the group kind of like was on our last leg of okay. doing what we you. had to do. And then when I went solo and stuff like that, it was cool. Rich had project level and everything because he had retired. Yeah. And he was just like, man, what's up? You know, I love what you're doing. Da, 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 da. Come fuck with us. I was working at, at project level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what's your, what do you do? What's your role there? Uh, I'm the, I run the music department. Got you. So um, even shit. I mean, we could throw in like Lil Kayla. You feel me? Like when, she, when I first got there, she was one of the first artists that I worked with. 